One of the great burdens which our romantic culture has imposed upon long-term relationships is the idea that love and sexual fulfillment must always, if things are working as they should, fit neatly together. raise a family, have enjoyable holidays, understand one another's problems, schedule cleaning routines, put up with each other's failings, see each other's parents and friends, and pursue their careers in harmony. But they will also be devoted and exciting sexual partners, endlessly entwining and recombining, sometimes being gentle and slow others brutal and urgent, traveling together on a shared lifelong erotic adventure. It's this sublime idea that begins to torment us when, as is the case in almost every relationship, sex starts with time to get at once less intense and less frequent, more cautious and more frustrating adults with daily life and eventually, definitively, more daunting as a prospect than reading a book, watching the news together, or simply going to sleep. This can appear nothing short of a catastrophe, a sign of a monstrous failing, very Take all leading filter brands. Some taste too strong, like they have no filters. Some are too mild. You have to smoke one after another to satisfy your taste. Only one has a taste that's right. Not too strong, not too light. A taste that's so right, it deserves a medal. Viceroy, known all over the world for the taste that's right. Yes, Viceroy smokers have something special. The taste that's right. So wherever you find a man who has something special, you'll also find Viceroy. Viceroy has the taste that's right. Viceroy has the taste that's right. Not too strong and it's not too light. Viceroy has the taste that's right. Only a Viceroy is not too strong, not too light. Who's the Viceroy for the taste that's right? One peso a pack.